Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, for Bispo, Machunu delivered for us an upset former heavyweight Eddie Chambers. Now forget what the experts and pundits had to say about this fight. We know that styles make fights. Right now here, understand Machunu was at least a three and a half to one underdog. Even if you were clumsy and inartful in doing a hedge on this play, at a minimum, you should have more than doubled your money, right? Let's talk about what went on in this fight. First, let me say, and I said this before, the idea of a guy in his 30s suddenly deciding to change weight class and to do so by dropping weight is high risk. Right? I don't think that was reflected in the line. Eddie Chambers deciding to drop down a cruiserweight, in my opinion, was a recipe for disaster before the opening bell. But let's go further. What's Eddie's nickname? It's Fast Eddie Chambers. Right? He's simply too fast for most heavyweights. And when we say fast, we're talking about reflexes and hand speed. We're not talking about foot speed, right? Well, understand, as you drop in weight, that hand speed advantage diminishes. Eddie's fast, Eddie Chambers, in the heavyweight division. He's not as fast at, at cruiser. Let's also talk height. Eddie's 6'1", right? It's actually a comparative advantage for him to be facing taller guys like Demetrenko, who he destroyed, right? Because they don't know where to find him. He's able to come in, hit them. Because of the height difference, Eddie doesn't have to bend at the waist. He doesn't bend at the waist that well, right? So Eddie, balance-wise, is able to come in, throw a lot of fast punches, Taller, slower guys can't find him, can't handle it. That's it, heavy. Now, who told Eddie to fight a shorter guy? Machunu is 5'8". <clears throat> At Cruiser. You know, suddenly you start to notice that Eddie doesn't bend well at the waist. Suddenly you start to notice that Eddie does better against taller opponents than against shorter opponents. Right? Let's also talk style matchup. Eddie Chambers' best punch, in my opinion, really is his jab. It's a very fast, good jab. He can double and triple the jab. But here he was fighting a southpaw. The angles didn't match up, just like David Price found out that he couldn't land his jab on Tony Thompson. Eddie Chambers found out he couldn't land his jab on southpaw for Bispo Machunu. Right? Let me also talk about Machunu, because it's not all about Chambers. There were two men in the ring. You know the Adrian Broner style. You're leaning on your back foot. You're dodging the other guy's jab, right? You're forcing him to reach in. You're counter-punching, not lead-punching. You know the Floyd Mayweather style. Same type style. You're on your back foot. You're leaning back. A lot of your game is defense. It's hard to hit you in the head because you're ducking your head. You're hiding your head behind your shoulder, right? And you're able to stick a jab out, and you can come back quickly with a straight hand with your dominant hand. Well, that's what Machunu did. And understand, it drove Eddie Chambers crazy. Chambers couldn't find Machunu's head. Chambers couldn't find Machunu, right? Chambers wasn't great at bending at the waist. He's not that fast in terms of foot speed. So what you had was Eddie Chambers clumsily 
trying to follow Machunu around the ring and Machunu laying in wait the entire fight. He had Eddie Chambers right there in front of him to counter the entire fight. As you look at Machunu, think Broner, think Floyd Mayweather. Now let me point out too, Eddie Chambers is not that great on his back foot. Right? When you're fighting a guy who is setting traps, who's waiting to counter you, you have to force him to be the lead. <clears throat> By the way, this is what James DeGale discovered in the middle of his fight against George Groves. Right? Sometimes you're better off on your back foot than on your front foot. Right? Eddie Chambers needed Machunu to literally come forward come out of his shell, right? Push the action so Eddie could try to counter him. But Chambers could never do so. Machunu was prepared to have the fight be a low volume fight, right? The pace favored Machunu. Look at the CompuBox numbers. Eddie Chambers' volume was dampened significantly. Right? Machunu was literally on his back foot countering Chambers the entire fight. And Chambers was not prepared to deal with a shorter man who spent the fight on his back foot leaning away from him. Right? Chambers just doesn't have the Mike Tyson type hand speed to leap in and try to batter an opponent who's being passive. To sum up, Chambers is actually built to do better against Vladimir Klitschko, whom he gave a spirited fight, than he is to do well against the Beast Bo Machunu. Let me also point out, too, that somebody, someplace, I'm guessing it's Machunu's management, figured out early on, before this fight was made, that based on styles, Eddie Chambers was going to have a very long night. He did. And this morning you should have a few extra dollars or pounds in your bank account because of it. Let's talk about Machunu's future. Understand that cruiserweight is fraught with peril. If Machunu were to fight Antonio Tarver, just understand that Tarver is a southpaw. So those jabs that Eddie Chambers could not land, Antonio Tarver would be able to land, right? It's debatable whether Tarver comes back as a heavyweight, where he's fought before, or as a cruiserweight. But just understand, styles make fights. As you watch a fight like this, don't assume that Machunu would be able to dodge everyone's jab. Also, Steve Cunningham. I know Steve's been campaigning at heavy, but Steve is a cruiser and Steve is always around 200 pounds. Right? Let me just say this. Steve Cunningham has much faster feet than fellow Philadelphian Eddie Chambers. Right? And Cunningham, I feel, has the kind of coordination where and extra mobility where he might be able to land his jab even though he's orthodox. So I think Steve Cunningham would give Machunu a harder fight than Eddie Chambers. Right? When Machunu announces his next opponent, we'll talk about it here online. But don't reach too many conclusions in this fight because it was an outlier. The styles just didn't match up for Eddie Chambers. Chambers against a taller, bigger opponent, or Chambers against a taller cruiserweight would do a lot better than he did in this fight. But for now, just know you're on the right side of this one. And so your bank account's a little fatter this morning. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at DwyerSportsBetting.com and GamblersAdvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.